by the end of this video, you're going to know the five best ways to get your cat to stop biting you. If you're tired of having them bite you or scared they might bite a visitor in your home, this video is for you. I've raised and had 17 cats over my life and these tips always make them stop biting. That being said, the last tip is definitely my favorite. Now, before we dive into how to stop a cat from biting, we need to figure out what causes them to bite. And there's really only three reasons. Reason number one, playful biting. Kittens always engage in playful biting as a part of their natural behavior. They learn about their environment through exploration and play, which includes biting. It's essential to teach them early that hands are not toys. Provide appropriate toys to redirect their energy and ensure they get ample playtime to satisfy their need for interactive play. For example, use feather wands, laser pointers, and small plush toys to engage them in a fun and safe way. Reason number two, defensive biting. Cats may bite if they feel threatened, scared, or cornered. This is a natural defense mechanism. To, to prevent defensive biting, always approach your cat calmly and let them come to you. Avoid making sudden movements or loud noises that could startle them. Create a safe and secure environment where your cat feels comfortable and can retreat to if needed. Ensure they have hiding spots and high perches to observe their surroundings without feeling threatened. Number three, pain-related biting. A cat might bite if it is in pain or discomfort. This type of biting is a protective response. If you notice a sudden change in your cat's behavior, such as increased aggression or sensitivity to touch, it's crucial to consult a veterinarian to rule out any underlying medical issues. Regular health checkups can help detect and treat problems early, preventing pain-related biting. So now that you know why your cat, or cat is biting, here's how you should stop it. And don't forget, the last way to stop your cat from biting is the vest. So, number one, avoid hand play. Use toys instead of your hands to play with your cat. Hands should never be used as toys, as this teaches your cat that biting hands is acceptable behavior. Invest in a variety of toys, such as feather wands, laser pointers, and interactive toys to keep your cat engaged. Toys that mimic prey, like mice or birds, are, a, are particularly effective in satisfying your cat's hunting instincts without involving your hands. Ensure your cat has a variety of toys to keep them entertained and to provide a healthy outlet for their energy and hunting instincts. Rotate the toys regularly, regularly to maintain your cat's interest. Puzzle toys and treat dispensing toys can also stimulate their mind and reduce boredom, which can sometimes lead to biting out of frustration or lack of stimulation. Set up a play schedule to ensure your cat gets enough physical and mental exercise daily. Now, that isn't the only thing you should be doing. I would also do number two respond appropriately. If your cat bites, stop all interaction immediately. Walk away or gently place the cat on the floor. This teaches them that biting results in the end of playtime or attention. Consistency is key. Every time your cat bites, the consequence should be the same. Never hit or yell at your cat as this can increase fear and aggression, making the problem worse. Instead, use calm and consistent responses 
to teach them appropriate behavior. Over time, they will learn that biting leads to an end of fun and positive interactions. Now, that isn't the only thing you should be doing. I would also, number three, reward good behavior. Praise and reward your cat when they play gently or interact without biting. Positive reinforcement helps reinforce good behavior. Use treats, petting, or verbal play praise to let your cat know they are behaving well. Timing is crucial. Reward your cat immediately after the good behavior to make the connection clear. Over time, your cat will learn that gentle play leads to positive outcomes. You can even incorporate a clicker to mark the desired behavior followed by a treat. Now, here are my two favorite ways to stop your cat from biting. Number four, training aids. You can use training aids like bitter sprays on your hands or other areas to discourage biting. These sprays have a taste that cats find unpleasant, which can deter them from biting those areas. Apply the bitter sprays to your hands or any objects your cat tends to bite, like maybe your feet. <laughs> Anyways, follow the product instructions to ensure it's safe for both your cat and the surfaces you apply it to. Flicker training is another effective method to teach your cat alternative behaviors. And it involves using a small device that makes a clicking sound to mark the desired behavior, followed by a small reward. For example, when your cat plays gently without biting, use the clicker and immediately give a treat. Over time, your cat will associate the click with positive reinforcement and learn to repeat the good behavior. Redirecting attention. When you see that your cat is about to bite, redirect their attention to a toy or another activity. For instance, if they start biting your hand, gently move your hand away and offer a toy instead. Reward them when they choose the toy over biting. This teaches your cat that playing with toys is more rewarding than biting hands. Training sessions. Regular short training sessions are more effective than long sporadic ones. Spend a few minutes each day reinforcing good behavior and practicing commands. Keep lessons positive and end on a good note to maintain your cat's interest and willingness to learn. Use treats and praise to make training a rewarding experience for your cat. By using training aids and techniques, you can effectively teach your cat to stop biting and encourage more appropriate behaviors. This is my favorite and the best way to stop your cat from biting you, which is number five. Recognize the warning signs. Cats communicate their feelings through body language and vocalizations. Understanding these signs can help prevent situations where your cat might feel the need to bite. Here are some key indications to watch for. Tail twitching can indicate irritation, agitate, agitation, or excitement. When your cat's tail starts twitching rapidly, it's a signal they may be getting overstimulated or annoyed. And how to respond. If you notice your cat's tail twitching, give them some space and avoid further interaction. Continuing to pet or engage with them may lead to a bite. Flattened ears and what it looks like. The ears are pulled back against the head and were a sign of fear, anxiety, or aggression. Your cat is trying to protect their ears and signal that they are not comfortable. When you see your cat's ears flattened, it's best to stop what you're doing and give them a break. Approaching or touching them in this state 
could result in a defensive bite. Number three, stiff body. The cat's body becomes rigid and tense with muscles visibly tense. A stiff body indicates that the cat is on high alert and may be ready to defend themselves. This is a clear sign of discomfort or fear. A stiff body is a warning that your cat feels threatened. Allow them to retreat to safe space and avoid handling them until they have relaxed. Number four, other warning signs, dilated pupils. Enlarged pupils can indicate fear, excitement, or aggression. If your cat's pupils are dilated, be cautious with your interaction. Low growl. Another indication is low growling or hissing. Vocal sounds such as growling or hissing are clear signs that your cat is unhappy. Respect these vocalizations and give your cat space. Swatting or clawing. If your cat starts to swat at you with their paws or use their claws, they're warning you to back off. Ignoring these signs can lead to biting. Recognizing these signs is crucial for maintaining a positive relationship with your cat. By understanding and respecting your cat's body language, you can prevent bites and create a more harmonious living environment. This knowledge helps you to build trust. When you respond appropriately to your cat's signals, they learn to trust you and feel safe in your presence. Reduce stress. Recognizing and addressing your cat's discomfort helps to reduce their stress levels, making them more relaxed and content. Prevent injury. Avoiding situations that could lead to biting helps both you and your cat safe from injury. Learning to recognize and respond to your cat's warning signs is a key step in preventing biting. By observing their tail, ears, body, posture, and other signals, you can understand when they need a break and avoid pushing them to the point of biting. Remember, a happy and relaxed cat is less likely to bite, making your interactions more enjoyable for both of you. By understanding your cat's behavior and using positive reinforcement, you can effectively reduce and eventually stop biting. Each cat is unique, so be patient and adjust your approach based on your cat's specific needs and personality. Remember, consistency and patience are key. If you liked this video and want to see more cat videos, please smash that subscribe button. I'll see you in the next video.